desire to see the world, to meet other cultures, to see new places, or perhaps just break out of the monotony of your everyday. These are some reasons we travel, and One Startup is aiming to revolutionize the online market for travel and empower the traveler. Choose your budget, choose your destination, choose your itinerary in real time. This is GoFro. But let's be honest, the travel space is overcrowded and clear leaders have emerged. So does GoFro have what it takes to satisfy this world's healthy sense of wanderlust? Let's find out. This business idea won't work. We'll show you. I want to help people explore the world. To see places, to meet people, to experience cultures, and generally become wise. I just do my job and leave the rest to God. I'm a big believer in Gita, and therefore I'm not too fearful about any outcome uh, that I may have. Take risk, be bold, and persevere. While traveling, book a seat at the back of the plane to increase your chances of getting empty seats. To save on mobile data charges, download offline Google Maps before you travel to your destination. If your neighbor won't stop talking, pretend to sleep. Hola, ni hao, sawadi khao. Learn to say hello in local languages. You'll be surprised by how much help you can get from total strangers. We are GoFro, your travel experts. Yes, you heard him. Meet the man behind the startup which is claiming to be the only travel partner you will ever need. This is Amitabh Mishra, the founder of a platform claiming to be a revolutionary travel marketplace, GoFro. This venture may sound a lot like other travel startups we know, but GoFro aims to transform the way Indians travel by offering them a whole host of options at competitive prices. And there's more. Amitabh has plenty of expertise. After all, he was the chief technology officer at India's leading billion dollar venture, Snapdeal. He happens to be an avid traveler and thinks his venture is using technology to empower customers. But is GoFro ready to impress us? What we have on GoFro is every travel services that you may need when you're planning for an international holiday. So we have hotels, we have uh, local transport, we have uh, flights and we have things that you would want to do in the uh, destination. To plan a holiday using GoFro, log on to the website. On the GoFro platform, you can choose an itinerary and personalize it or tweak it according to your taste. GoFro has a special live chat feature for answering all customer queries, even during a holiday. The USB here that differentiates it from other travel portals is real-time customization and assistance. Anytime, anywhere. Now competition in the space is fierce and this space is dominated by travel giant Make My Trip. Well, GoFro happens to have the backing of this giant. So does this space have room for GoFro to dominate? This market itself has huge potential. It is growing at breakneck speed. It is very fragmented, therefore a lot of opportunity for online players to come and uh, organize the market and it's, it's profitable. So everything is really suitable for a company like GoFro to succeed. The GoFro team comprises in-house experts on technology, product and travel. And GoFro also comes with a companion app to provide the customer with in-destination help during a holiday. But many other travel portals boast of these. So what makes GoFro any different? Number one, we have a stellar team. You know, one of the strongest in India both in technology and business, with deep expertise in consumer internet and technology space in India. Number two is that our fundamentals of our business is strong. Like I said, we are profitable from day one, but also that this industry is very fragmented and inefficient. Therefore, huge opportunity to create a disruption through technology. Finally, we have a stellar product, a globally unique product that has unlimited potential. Well, GoFro has the backing of a giant like Make My Trip and seems to have all the fundamentals in place to grab a huge chunk of the travel pie. So while the founder has given us a sneak peek into his vision, let's round up our focal questions. GoFro aims to revolutionize the online travel space. How will it go about achieving this? GoFro competes with giants like TripAdvisors and offline travel agents. 
what gives it a competitive edge? Does GoFro have what it takes to survive the ongoing turmoil among Indian startups? GoFro aims to revolutionize the way we travel. How do you aim to do that? We have a very, very unique product. A couple of things. We have a very intuitive one-page app to personalize your uh, holiday plan. Uh, then we have live online assistance. So travel experts sitting maybe 1,000 miles from you who are an expert in the destination that you're interested in, you could chat with them. They can co-create the itinerary with you online. So you having to never travel and meet them in person, you're sitting across the uh, you know, screen and both of you are working on the same plan at the same time. Obviously, you face stiff competition from companies like TripAdvisor and even travel agents. How do you plan to beat them? So travel agents, offline travel agents are free to list their products on our platform. We just become an extra channel for them to sell their wares. So in that sense, you know, there is not necessarily any company which is a direct competitor, you know, as such. Even Make My Trip can come and uh, list, list products on our site. We just become an additional channel for, for, for their sales. How does GoFro plan to protect against the turmoil that's happening in the startup world? I think uh, we don't look at the turmoil. We are very confident of what we are doing. And we know that it's a you know, profitable business. We know that what kind of impact technology can have to make it better and to create the disruption in the world of how travel, leisure travel is done uh, in the country. So I think we are just focused on what we are doing and we are very positive about uh, the prospects of what we are doing. It was great to meet GoFro today. It seems like a great startup and I'm excited to see what's next for them. One thing that I wonder is that with Make My Trip such a big funder, how their technology is not just going to get folded into that platform. The other thing is that Google Travel looks a lot like GoFro and I wonder if they'll have some recognition issues in the future. That's what I think. Let's see what the mentors have to say about this. Meet Abhinav Mathur, the former Chief of Strategy and Technology at Spice Global and current Chairman of Founders Catalyst. He's known to be outspoken and doesn't mince his words when it comes to passing his verdict on new startups. Our second mentor is Ritu Maria, the Editor-in-Chief of Entrepreneur Media and Franchise India Media, who leads the editorial desk which comprises a whole host of magazines popular in startup circles. With a career spanning 12 years in business journalism, Ritu has come to be regarded as an authority on startups and entrepreneurship, retail and consumer businesses. GoFro is a travel marketplace which is a little different than I would say rest of these but I'm still very skeptical at this stage about GoFro, the early days though um, as there is a there's a huge competition that is uh, there for GoFro to begin with. There are online travel bookings, there's reverse bidding that is happening, then there is uh, offline travel agents so it's it's already a hugely crowded marketplace they should uh, you know focus on technology trying to see how they can employ technology to create a better and a greater experience for the consumer and try to ensure that they create you know maybe an automated kind of bot or something like that so that a lot of questions get answered through a database rather than each resulting in a communication with an expert so that the experience of the consumer is still very very good.